Sports Illustrated, famous for its iconic swimsuit covers over the years, is making headlines and history with its latest edition. At 81 years old, Martha Stewart has become the oldest cover girl to pose for the publication. She says she wants to show that a woman her age can still look and feel good. Considering it's Fox News, y'all know where this is going. Am I the only hater? She does. I'm gonna be a hater. <laughs> I'm not down with it. Like she's 80. Are we gonna put like 90 year olds in the cover? Like, sure, like, why not? It's like putting yeah. obese people. I know 30 year olds who don't look that good. My Mima looks no, great in a bathing suit. I'm not and she down was so with proud it. of it. I just like look. We don't. I don't want to give young girls complexes. So I understand that we don't want to feed unhealthy perceptions among young people. We also don't need to go nuts with it, right? It's like telling people that like Lizzo's healthy or something. I'm sorry, you're not. This is Lisa Booth, who of course had to throw in a Lizzo diss. But newsflash, she's not sorry she'd also double down on the body shaming of the grammy winning artist on twitter with the usual scare tactics like this whole movement of like oh, we have to have the oldest we have to do this we have I to do this. i don't know i'm not down with it i'm sorry. i've got to say there's this whole thing now where we're like we're told that like beauty is someone who's like objectively not attractive right like and we're, we're just in this like weird i don't like the societal stuff that's I going on right now i think this is right tasteful now. i think she looks beautiful not, not her specifically but we're told like you know like Harry armpits is attractive. Like, it's not. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I want to live in reality. I just want to live in reality. She compared hairy armpits to Martha Stewart. I'll get into my thoughts in a second, but just a few quotes. Martha Stewart would say, usually I'm motivated by pay, but this time I was motivated by showing people that a woman my age can still look good and feel good. Here's the thing, man. This has been done many times times over this is so, not some necessarily new revelation as fox news is trying to paint the picture of okay previous covers have shown may musk yes the mother of the man sabotaging twitter and who steals ideas claims they're his own i mean just look up what he's done over his career specifically with tesla uh she was on the cover at 74 christine brinkley was featured at 60 years old, Paulina Porozkova was in her 50s when she made a return to Sports Illustrated. And it's a very simple message via those at SI. She really is an advocate for ageism, which I think is a really important topic to address because beauty doesn't end at 30, beauty doesn't end at 40. Exactly. And Stuart would go on to say, I want other women, especially women, to feel that they could also be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. I don't think about age very much, but I thought this is kind of historic. Deborah German, author and academic, specializing in feminism and media at the University of Roehampton in England, told the Post, at the very least, these kinds of moments prompt renewed discussion and awareness of beauty standards, ageism, and our ending cultural investment in youth. But of course, this spills over into invaluable publicity for brands. In 2019, as we note other big moments that I'm sure Fox was ticked about, Muslim model Halima Aden made history as the magazine's first model to be photographed wearing a hijab and burkini, while Lena Bloom became the first trans cover model in 2021. Last year's issue featured Katrina Scott as the first visibly pregnant swimsuit model. Here's where I want to be crystal clear on this, okay? Sports Illustrated has wanted to branch out more and more as many other publications do. This is an example of this. In addition, what is SI trying to do? They are trying to get exposure at every cost. They are trying to reach the masses. This is good publicity. That's what this is. Now, we would hope that with said publicity, it comes with some sort of message or morals. And look, putting May Musk is whatever. But going into the ageism argument that Ms. Booth is painting here, it's foul. It's atrocious. And I do think that, as I stated previously, comparing Martha Stewart to Harry Armpits and Lizzo, wrong. <laughs> Completely wrong. But you expect nothing else from an outlet like that. So here, here's where I am. They want to create some sort of shock value while also having a positive message go along with it. And that's exactly what this did. Because the more people talk about it, the more coverage they get, 
the happier the bosses are. 